Hi, I'm Chuck. Welcome to my channel. In this video, we will install Kali Linux on VirtualBox running on Mac OS. Kali comes preloaded with many security tools. We will be using the machine to carry out some hacking demos in some of our subsequent videos. The recommended system requirements and other items we will need for this installation are 8 gig of RAM on the host machine, 40 gig of disk space, the host device itself, that's the MacBook I'm using, VirtualBox, and Kali Linux ISO file. This is part two of this video series. In part one, we installed VirtualBox. I'll add a link to the description in case you haven't installed VirtualBox. So let's proceed. Before we dive in, please take a moment to subscribe to my channel and like this video and press the bell icon to never miss any of my new videos. Let's get started. I will pull up my Safari browser. On Google, I will search for Kali Linux. The first link on this list should be the official website of Kali Linux. But make sure that the root domain is kali.org, as you can see here. I will click on the link. On the main page, click on the download link to go to the download page. There are two options, bare metal and virtual machines. Because we need the ISO image for raw installation, I will select bare metal. I will scroll down a little bit and uh, you will see the options we have here. 64 bit is the default, but there is also option for 32 bit or Apple M1. We will stick with 64 bit. I will go to the installer section and click on the download icon to download the ISO image. The download is ongoing. This is almost 3 gig file, so I will pause the video and resume when the download is complete. The ISO image has been successfully downloaded, so I will minimize the browser and launch VirtualBox. I will click on the new button to create the VM. You can give it any name that makes sense to you. I will just call this one Kali-01. For the machine folder, I will leave it at the default location. In the type field, I will select Linux. And version will be Debian 64-bit. Because Kali is a flavor of Debian distro. Then hit continue. For memory size, you can see I have 16 gig available, but I will allocate 8 gig to the VM. If your MacBook has only 8 gig available, for example, 4 gig may be more appropriate for you. But keep in mind that you may hit performance issue on the VM. In any case, try to stay within the green zone on the meter. I will click continue. For virtual disk, I will maintain the default settings and hit create button. Here, VDI is the default and I will leave it that way and click continue. I will also maintain default setting here and hit continue. Over here, I will increase the disk size to 40 gig and hit create button. That creates the Kali VM for us. Before we power on the VM and finish up the installation, we need to modify some VM settings. Make sure Kali-01, that is the newly created VM, is selected on the left. And click on Settings. Let's go to Advanced tab. I will select Bidirectional here. And here as well to be able to drag and drop between the host machine and the VM. 
let's go to system menu and click on the processor tab i will increase the cpu to four in any case make sure you stay within the green zone of the meter let's click on display menu i will max out the video memory next let's look at storage under controller ide select this empty disk then go to far right and select the disk icon click on choose a disk file this brings us to the download folder double click on the iso image we downloaded earlier leave the rest of the settings as default and click ok next let's power on the vm make sure the newly installed kali vm is still selected and then hit the start button up here to run the installation i'll close this out in this little window you can see the first option on the list is graphical install I will hit enter on my keyboard to select the option. I will close this little banner here. I will maintain English as a language and click continue. On this page, you should select the country where you are located. I will select Canada. For the keyboard, I will leave it as American English and click continue. Let's wait for it to mount and install some components. Let's give the VM a host name. This is the name that identifies the VM in a network. So give it a name that makes sense. I will name this one Kali-01 and continue. You can enter your domain name here if you like. For me, I will leave it blank and continue. Enter your name here. I will just enter Chuck and continue. Then, enter the username you will use to log on to the VM. I will leave mine as Chuck. You will need this username later on to log on to the system. So remember it. I will click continue. Enter your password twice. Remember your password because you need it later. Let's continue. On this page, you should select your time zone. For me, it's Eastern zone, so I will leave it like that and continue. Since this is a VM, I will select the first option to use the entire disk and hit continue. We have one option here, so I will continue. On this page, I'll use the default option that says all files in one partition and click on continue. This page gives us an overview of our current partition. Default option here is to finish partitioning and write changes to disk. And I'll go with that option. I'll just hit continue. Here, I will select yes to write changes to disk. And I'll hit continue. This will take a few minutes. On this page, you have the option to select different software and environments. I recommend you keep the default settings and click on continue. This process will take anywhere from a few minutes to up to 30 minutes or even more, depending on your system spec. I may have to pause the recording and resume towards the end. Okay, we are resuming at the end. It took about 12 minutes to get to this point. Like I mentioned, the installation duration depends so much on your system spec. It can take up to 30 minutes. For me, it took 12 minutes. It can also be less. I'll click the continue button to finish off. On this page, I will select the second option that says 
dev forward slash sda and click continue at this point the installation is complete so i will click continue Kali is rebooting by itself. You don't need to do anything. Okay, we are at the login prompt. Let's log in using the credential we created in the process. My username is Chuck and I will enter my password. And the installation looks good. To go to full screen, you can click on view menu on your MacBook and select full screen mode and click on switch on the pop-up. That's our Kali Linux VM. If you click on the menu up here, you can see a lot of security and hacking tools that are pre-installed on the system. You can see a lot of them, information gathering, Vulnerability analysis, you have MMAP, Nikto, and so many others. Web application analysis, database assessment, password cracking, wireless attacks, reverse engineering, exploitation tools, sniffing and spoofing tools, post exploitation tools, forensic tools, and reporting tools. So, the Kali Linux VM is now ready for use, so we can start doing some cool stuff here. We will go through some hacking demos in subsequent videos. Before we end the recording, let's do some basic checks to make sure that the VM is properly connected to the network. Let's pull up the terminal. I will zoom in a little bit. Let's check the IP address assigned to our Kali VM. I will expand the window. Kali is assigned private IP 10.0.2.15. Let's make sure we can ping our host machine. That's the MacBook. The IP is 192.168.2.24. I will just press enter. Okay, it's responding. We can reach it. I'll stop the pinging. Let's verify we can reach the internet. Let's ping Google. Okay. It's responding. So our internet connection is good. I'll stop the pinging. Everything looks good. One more thing I would like to mention is that the way we installed Kali Linux VM using ISO image is actually a longer process. There is a quicker way to do it using OVF file. I'll probably make a short video on that one too, so that you know both options. That brings us to the end of this video. Thanks so much for watching. Please take a moment to subscribe to the channel and like the video. Also press the bell icon to never miss any of my new videos. If you have any questions or comments, please enter them in the comment section below.